Hi, I'm going to show you something. Just, just hold on a second, one second. I've been looking after this in the office for quite some months now. I've been watering it uh, every week. Uh, I've been giving it some seeds and that, whatever the usual a plant needs these days. Um, a bit of sunlight as well. And it just makes me happy seeing it how lovely and green it is. It just hangs so happily and it just makes me also so happy. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I keep thinking the mic is here or over there and actually the mic is right here. So I need to make sure that I speak directly into it so you can hear me very well. I was just looking through uh, a couple of past videos that I've done and I had a thought that I've actually haven't done a tutorial in some time now. So that's what I'm gonna be teaching you today. It's gonna be a very quick one. It's a very small tip in Premiere Pro, of course. Um, hopefully this will help you ongoing with making videos as well. Let's just dive into Premiere Pro. Okay, so often when you have a, a, a video set on your timeline, as you can see here, uh, you can see that often uh, you put layers upon layers and you've got multiple video uh, playing and V1, V2, V3, uh, V4 and, and, you, and you're just layering them on top of each other and you think, okay, um, I'm going to make a cut here. Um, what I'm going to do is actually make a cut here and, and I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here because I don't like this bit. Then I'm going to make a cut here and so on and so forth. And before you know it, you've made so many cuts. So in that timeline that you have put together, you've made several cuts because you feel that, okay, this scene is not relevant and I could do a bit better than that one. But for whatever reason, you may put those cuts in. Now, when it comes to color grading, you may feel, oh my days, I actually forgot. I still got to do color grading and I've got to still add effects and I still got to do multiple things and you think, Oh, what should I do? Should I go back and undo all that or should I just and just put it away, put this project away, uh, put it in the bin or something like that? No. Here's how you can save this. It's called adjustment layer. So what you want to do is go over here and you want to right click and you want to come over to new item. You scroll down as you can see it says sequence, project, shortcut, offline file, adjustment layer. Adjustment layer is what we're looking for. You click on that and you just gotta make sure that whatever this dialog box comes up with is matching what you, what your timeline is on, that's all. You hit OK and you'll get the adjustment layer in your project folder on the left hand side. And what you wanna do is just take the adjustment layer and put it on your timeline. So wherever you wanna start from, I'm gonna start from here so that you can see. And let's just bring this over here so that's where all the cuts are and you can see that it is adjusted right on top of where all my cuts were placed so it could be from the beginning of your timeline all the way to the end or you can just put it in somewhere in the middle of your timeline depending on what you want to add to it now what I'm gonna to add to it is probably uh, the color effects or some presets or LUTs and things like that so once you put that adjustment layer onto your timeline what you want to do what I'm gonna do actually just to make this quite simple and for you to understand is that we're gonna add the color effects onto it. So we're going to add some LUTs onto the video. And that's going to apply to all the clips underneath that we have made those cuts to. So what we were going to do is here is your adjustment layer and we're going to add some add some LUTs to it, uh, which is color. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just go into the input LUTs here. We're going to browse because I have my uh, own, well, they're not my own. Um, they are LUTs uh, that I use in my video. So you can you know put them in a folder and put them away on your on your external drive or on your hard drive or something like that so when you need it you can go back to it so therefore so the one that I usually use is the clean and tidy as you can see here just click on that and if you open that and that will cleanly apply that lot of clean and tidy to your video now if you play that back And you can see that there is no LUT applied on top of this or shall I say an adjustment layer with the LUT on top of it. So you can see the color difference of it. So therefore there is no LUT here and you can see that 
that has not been color graded because we haven't put the adjustment layer on top of it however if we go back to here that is just the opposite side of the room which is the front of the room and you can see the change of the color because we have added the lot to the adjustment layer here okay if you still have some trouble uh, with Premiere Pro in with your adjustment layer or with any of your videos and I'll try and uh, help you out as much as I can uh, with your videos leave me some details in the comments below and I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I can hit the like button if you like this video subscribe if you aren't already and and I will see you very soon peace